Thanks to the coronavirus, I've been able to check out a lot of TV shows, and one of the newer things I saw was The Midnight Gospel. Now this is a new show by the creator of Adventure Time, and it definitely feels like a completely different show than Adventure Time was. Really this is a very unique show. It basically takes, from my understanding, audio from a podcast, and then animates around that with a really kind of great animation style and art direction. It definitely goes for more adult, as in there's a lot of vulgar language, some sexual themes, some nudity and some really grotesque violence. And each kind of episode sometimes deals with some really heavy material. Each episode is kind of its own individual story. There is a little bit of an overarching story, but for the most part, you could probably just watch any episode and move on and be okay. You're not going to miss very much. But I really like the setup here. This sets up for a really interesting concept that you could do a lot with here. There definitely are some episodes I found a lot less interesting than some, but this is easily a show you can decide whether if you like or hate just based on the first episode. Episode. The first episode takes the idea of what it wants to do and it does it really well And I kind of feel like if you don't like the first episode, you're probably not gonna like it If you like the first episode, you're probably gonna like the series. Honestly, I really enjoyed it and I wouldn't mind seeing more of it So let's hope for a season two So the new movie I ended up seeing was VFW. This is one I picked up on Blu-ray without really knowing anything about it other than that it had some pretty decent score reviews and the back of the box looks like it'd be something that's right up my alley and I loved it. Honestly, this is a straight up grindhouse exploitative gore fest and I was not expecting that and it's a lot of fun. The film is basically about a group of veterans who one of them owns a VFW and they all kind of go there, drink and hang out and then across the street are a bunch of druggies and a girl steals drugs from them, runs into the VFW and then all hell breaks loose for the rest of the movie and it's super entertaining visually this film looks pretty great the lighting in this film is that high saturation blue purple red and it looks really good it has a lot of grit to it as well and it definitely feels pretty hyper stylized the gore effects are done really well and are throughout pretty much the entire movie they don't really skimp out on the gore and kills but where this film really stands strong is his characters the characters here are really well developed you really kind of get a true sense of who these characters are and the way they're performed they definitely feels like there's a strong chemistry between everybody and it feels like they are actually friends who has served all this time together and so it actually puts a lot of stakes at risk when these hordes of people are coming after them and it's not like they're superheroes you know they're old war veterans and the film never tries to make them anything but that are they badass and there's a lot of badass moments yes but are they vulnerable yes honestly I was really kind of surprised with this film it's nowhere near as crazy as something like Hobo with a shotgun but it is also a but it's pretty straightforward grindhouse exploitation film and honestly one I could see watching multiple times and would be a great party movie.